so great to see you all here. Aberdeen, don't they look fabulous? Yes. We were so excited to meet you guys, and a couple of you I've met before. Uh, so first of all, I'll start with you, Kara. How have you been enjoying Comic-Con Aberdeen? Oh, it's, uh, I had a chance to, to uh, visit the city, the town a little bit, and I saw some castles and the coastline, and it's so beautiful, and everyone is so nice. Yay, good. How's it been for you, Alec? Yeah, it's been great. People have been lovely, you know, saying all these compliments, and I'm so glad you, got, you guys are so excited to be here, and it just makes, makes it worthwhile. It does indeed. Yes, round of applause for yourselves. Yeah. Some of the nicest people we have in Aberdeen. Now, Grace, it's my first time meeting you, big fan, but how has Comic-Con been for you so far? I've always wanted to come to Scotland. It's been top of my bucket list for like over 10 years now, so I'm really happy to be here, and everyone is so nice. Yeah. It's unbelievable how nice everyone is here. For sure. Well, if you guys are just joining us for the first time, I'll ask a few questions because I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, just like you guys are. But we have a microphone over here on the left and one on the right as well, so get those questions ready. Please don't be shy. Come on up and ask a question. But as I mentioned, we have so many, I can see so many in the crowd now, uh, cosplayers of Stranger Things. And I just, I'll start with you, Grace, if you don't mind, because I did tell her that I needed a photo backstage because my 12-year-old niece was Chrissy for Halloween. So uh, what's it like to see your character in cosplay? I never thought that I'd ever play a character that people want to dress up as, so it's the most <laughs> surreal experience ever, and everyone does it so much better than me. Like, all the, all the Chrissies are so cute. Yeah. Uh, like, have you had anyone come up with a, a giant Slurpee and recreate this moment for you? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh. But if anybody wants to... <laughs> I've I'm seen a few waiting. Slurpees. I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the Slurpee. I didn't uh, see anybody dressed up as me in, the, in this one, but some people with glasses. I'm glad for that. <laughs> Could be just a guy drinking a Slurpee at exactly. this point. We don't know. Kara, <laughs> exactly. uh, I've actually seen, uh, the last time I saw you, there was a front row. Oh, my gosh, there's two Chrissies in the front row. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Tremendous. But I saw, I saw Nancy's mom with the big, fabulous 80s hair, which is making a comeback, mm -hmm. and she was in your swimsuit attire. So what's it like to see someone as uh, cosplaying as Nancy's mom? Oh, I, I think it's, it's been so amazing to see um, people in the bathing suit. I have so much admiration. Um, and they look, um, like you said, they look amazing. I just, I look at them and think, oh, that just looks so, so amazing. Much better so much better. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it's very, very surreal. Like never in a million years would I ever have thought as an actor that someone would be dressing in something that I'd worn. And it's, it's like, if you feel very flattered. And um, it's like, it's really a special thing. It's like a... It's very unique, you know, not a lot of actors will experience that. And I, I really appreciate the enthusiasm and the effort. And I, and I always go home and I tell my family and friends, like I get so excited about, I see all the different cosplayers and the Chrissies and, and you know, um, Max and everyone. I, and I'm just really impressed with that. My daughter cosplays uh, as anime, so I have like a lot of respect for how much work goes into it. Yeah, lots of effort, lots of passion. We just had our cosplay competition. Who was here for the cosplay competition, guys? A lot of Stranger Things participants as well. Now, Grace, meeting you for the first time, I'd love to hear your story of how you were cast into Stranger Things. And then if you guys don't mind, we'll go down the line and you can explain how you were cast in the role. But um, what was that journey like for you, Grace? Mine's not really much of a story because it happened during, or it happened right before the pandemic. I just sent in a tape. That's it. <laughs> That's still a story. That's okay. <laughs> Did you have to send in more than one tape? No, because the brothers said that I was the only one who played Chrissy Sweet. So oh. they said there wasn't really another option. <laughs> well, there Nailed. you go. Nailed. Yeah, she nailed it. Yeah. So there's Alec with your Slurpee in your audition, and what happened? How did it yeah. go? <laughs> there I was with my Slurpee, and no, it was just generic scenes that we got, and uh, I didn't know what was going to happen, and they sort of found the range that I did and wrote the character around it, yeah. really, and just let me do what I wanted. And I had no idea what I was doing, so I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> we couldn't tell you had no idea what you were doing, so oh, no. good job. No, I gotta edit that out, <laughs> but <laughs> thanks. Well, I, got on, I started on the show in 2015, back when there were more, there were in-person auditions, actually. They don't, doesn't really happen anymore, so. I had an in-person audition originally that was then taped. Um, and it was a series of auditions after that, 
like, and then meeting the duffers. So uh, I know everything is done on tape now, right? You didn't even meet them until you got to the set, right? Yeah. It's no such one. a, yeah, it's such a different, it's such a different experience, you know, so many years later. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, guys, we're going to go to your questions in just a minute. I see some of you are lining up already. There's a member of the Hailfire Club. I'm telling you, the Stranger Things cosplay is just top-notch here in Aberdeen, so you've done an amazing job. Uh, so as we're sitting here at Comic-Con, you know, there's so many things represented here. We have people that love Star Trek and Star Wars and Harry Potter and sci-fi. Grace, is there something here that, that speaks to you in terms of a film franchise or TV, anything that you're a fan of? Yes, Doctor Who. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I love Doctor Who. I, I love the Tenth Doctor. Okay. Alec, what's your vibe? Are you a Harry Potter guy, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings? I am a bit of a geek. I do like the anime. Yep. You know, so. What's your favorite anime, it? Alec? I like Demon Slayer. Do you? I thought, uh, yeah, I think it's legit. You know, it's legit. <laughs> it is legit. Uh, I like Hunter Hunter. Okay. You know, from the classic. Yeah. What, what are you surprised? I don't about? know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a surprise, it's a good show. Right? It's a good show. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Obviously, Stranger Things, yeah. you know, I loved since the first season. And obviously, you know, meeting wonderful actors and, um, yeah, just everything. No, yeah. Not you. Oh, yeah, I, I'm a, I was a huge fan of the, I mean, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. Um, and I remember, like, season one when we started shooting and they're like, a lot of the crew was from Walking Dead. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm such a big fan. Will we ever get to meet them? You know, will we ever get to meet any of those actors? Because they were just filming. They just finished their season. I'm a huge Trek. I love Star Trek. I love um, uh, Star Wars. And through my daughter, like, all the anime and this, ga this game Genshin Impact is, like, a big deal in our house. Like, all of it. <laughs> I think we just love to know that celebrities then fangirl or fanboy over certain things because I've been fangirling over Kara. I'm a big Mad Men fan, so there's a lot of crossover of uh, careers and what you love somebody from, whether it be their biggest role or not. But let's talk about your careers uh, before Stranger Things. So obviously, Kara, being a Mad Men fan, I was familiar with you and love your work, think you're brilliant. But if we can go down the line, I'll start with you. Can you talk about your career before Stranger Thing and maybe some things that maybe you liked uh, that you did or you were proud of in your career? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've been acting a very long time. I'm like everyone's mom. So I started when I was 12. <laughs> I started when I was 12. So I did a ton of theater in New York City. I've done like every kind of, I was a, but I started like as an extra, a background extra. Like I've done everything. I wrapped cable in a crew. I've done a, so many things. But um, I, 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 I loved being on Broadway. That was like a highlight of, I love live theater. Um, I felt so fortunate to be on The Sopranos in the last season because that's such an iconic sh like water shed, shed show. I remember getting the job, the agent called me, I was like in my little studio apartment, I fell down on the floor crying, like I couldn't believe I got the part. And um, yeah, so I think, you know, Mad Men was also like another show that I think a lot of, maybe some of your parents have watched, uh, a really classic show with like beautiful writing and like a very period piece. So. I've just done a lot of stuff. I think Michael Caine said he'd done a lot of, can I curse here, a lot of shit? Sure. <laughs> you know, because sometimes as an actor, you just got to pay the bills, right? Like, I think it seems like, you know, it, it, sometimes you just got to, like, take jobs, but you always, like, give your all. Like, I don't approach any job, like, I'm not going to, I'm going to bring a certain kind of acting to this because, you know, sometimes you take a job because it's quick and, like, you, you like it, but you're like, you need a paycheck. And then other times are like very artistic. Like I just did an independent film that's about Vienna in 1913. And it's like so beautiful. And I'm so excited for it to come out. And it'll probably be a very small movie. But like, I loved it so much. And I hope the world gets to see it. And it's like, you try to fulfill these other parts of yourself. It's a long answer. Yeah, it's a great wow. answer. Thank you. Yeah. My, my story is um, after acting school, the first film I did was The Tourist with... Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt and the first shot I got is throwing Angelina Jolie on the sofa so I was very scared but obviously an iconic moment there um, and then I just did many different films like San Andreas and Jack Ryan I kind of moved after the school kind of moved naturally into film I didn't feel like I had to work anywhere or you know do theater stuff because I always wanted to be in TV and film, really. And then obviously, I don't know if I'm proud of anything I did much, but Stranger Things, I really enjoyed. Yeah. 
I thought it was very creative. Um, Duffer Brothers are completely in that world which you feel safe knowing that everything's prepared. And um, yeah, we had a great blast. Yeah. It's great to meet everyone, yeah. really, from that. There what was go. the question? <laughs> 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 I love her. Your career before Stranger Things and oh, kind of what you were working on. I worked on. at a smoothie shop. Oh, okay. And a coffee shop. <laughs> I don't think I ever wanted to be an actor. I, I'm way too awkward and introverted and shy for this, so I still don't know how I'm here. <laughs> well, it is in the family business because I was just talking to Kara about how I thought that was so cool because when I saw your name, I saw Van Dien, I went, oh my God, Casper Van Dien. And th they seem to do these little um, Easter eggs, if you will, of like 80s stars. Have you, and, and some people will notice it, some people won't. Maybe it's an age thing. But, you know, Carrie Elways was in the show who, I don't know, happened to be a huge star in the 80s. But is that something that you guys like that they kind of pepper in little nostalgic 80s moments? That for me is really fun. Having I mean, grown my up, my dad is more 90s. But 90s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean, like Starship Troopers. <laughs> we love Starship Troopers. We all love Troopers. Starship Troopers. It's oh brilliant. my god, and he was like an icon. Yeah, but Kara, I mean, for the the fact they use like Sean Astin from Goonies and Carrie Elwes of The Princess Bride, and is that something that you like the little nostalgic bits? Yeah, and especially the music, right? Like I think it's introduced like a whole new generation to the 80s music, like Kate Bush having a number one hit who'd never had a number one hit during her time. Yeah. That's, really, that's really fun and exciting to hear music that I loved growing up, you know, and now I can, younger people can relate to that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, it shows the power of just the quality of music, really, yeah. at that time, and marketing <laughs> today. So, um, yeah, a lot of nostalgia, and obviously the authenticity, how much they invest into that, really, was, was mind-blowing. That aspect of it. We have a lot of people lined up for questions, but let's go to the microphone here on the right. This lovely lady has a question. Hiya. Hi, I'm Isla. And who's your favorite and least favorite person to see as both? Favorite and least favorite. Oh, <laughs> Isla's going in for it. Uh, favorite and least favorite person to do scenes with on the show. <laughs> Any? Uh, just say everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll go first. Uh oh. I hate no. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love. I thought David Harbour was absolutely lovely, and you know Winona Ryder because they made you feel welcome. I felt they were like the mo the mother and father figure, and obviously with Cara as well. You know. We had that little thing in the yeah. in the we had carnival. Thing. Yeah, in the yeah. carnival. Yeah, yeah. Cool <laughs> and least favorite. Everyone was nice. I don't know. I think they were all pretending, uh, you know, so unfortunately, I can't name one. Was anyone like a troublemaker on set or giggled too much? Or that's, that's a polite way to sort of answer, maybe? Really? Not yeah. in my experience. No. Have you? No? Sorry to disappoint everyone. Like, everyone's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Truly. See us after the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to spill some tea. Thank you, Isla, for your question. Yeah. We've got questions over here on the left at the microphone. Hi there. Hi. He'll help you. Thank you, buddy. Oh. Hi. What was your favorite part in acting in Stranger Things? Favorite part? Oh, uh, let's see. I really loved the scene when I first meet Billy because it's a comedy moment and it just surprised me and it was just fun to shoot because all the crew was laughing after every take and yeah. we were all laughing and it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Mine's 24, the 24 seven, the, I wanna say Quickie Mart, it's not Quickie Mart, it's a Simpsons thing. Um, but it's a 24 seven thing with the slushies, really. They let me play around so I was just like yeah. grabbing stuff, yeah. That was fun. My favorite was working with Joseph Quinn because he's so talented and so fun to watch. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for your question. We've got a question here on the right. Rest Hi, my name's Rachel, and I was wondering if you could save one of the characters who died, but you have to kill off one of the characters who survived. Oh. Who would you pick? <laughs> so save one person and then have to kill another off. Okay. Oh, I got this. Oh, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd. Save Eddie, Yay! and 
I'd kill Vecna. <laughs> End scene. Best answer ever. Yes. Did you want to expound upon that, or that was no, pretty perfect? No, I don't think we can touch yeah. that. Well yeah. done, Grace. We've got a member of the Hellfire Club to the left here with a question. Hello, sir. This is this is one for Alec, but I know that the Slurpee that you had was cherry, but why was it specifically cherry? Because it was in the script. <laughs> <laughs> so but like, why was it in the script? <laughs> wow. You see... This is hard. This is a very philosophical question, <laughs> I find. Um, we're getting deep. <laughs> yeah, we're getting deep. I don't know, actually, the symbolism of the cherry, <laughs> slurpy, and <laughs> stranger things. It does t- taste nice, you know? <laughs> cool. Is it because it looks like blood? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It's red. Could be. It's a theory. It's a theory. theory. It's good. Yeah, (laughs) that makes sense. (laughs) My mind was going somewhere completely different. (laughs) Aberdeen came with the hard-hitting questions, and we're loving it. We had someone ask yesterday, what do you think about cheese? You guys have been hysterical, and we love that so much. Scotland is awesome. We're going to go to another member of the Hellfire Club, uh, this lovely lady to our right on the microphone. Hi there. Hi, my name is Chelsea, and... Who would you rather be if you got to pick a different person from Stranger Things? Who would you like to be if you could pick a different character from Stranger Things, other than who they played, yeah? Demodog. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. Hmm. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, happy. Maybe Dustin. Dustin's pretty cool character, yeah. But as you are now. As I am now. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Dustin. <laughs> Great question, thank you. So, Alec, you said you loved Stranger Things from the first season, right? Was Dustin always your favorite, or did you...? Yeah, actually, from the first season, I really liked uh, the Dustin character. He was just adorable, yeah. you know? I like characters that have something... I wouldn't say off with them, but it's not really... It, it, it's just something unique, you know, and, and um, I don't know. I, ju- I, I just think it was very adorable, yeah. especially the performance. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have a... Do you ladies have a uh, favorite from, s- like, earlier seasons, season one, perhaps, that stuck out to you as a really great character? Um. Well, I was actually just thinking about these guys, like, because you were each in one season, right? But just think how like memorable and iconic they they are after one season, right? Like you really remember. Like I remember thinking Chrissy and Eddie. Like I would, do, I wanted them to see their relationship. It was so sweet, and like and you were like so charming and sweet too. And you're like, don't kill him. Like let them live. And I just thought like that's what's so brilliant about the casting in our show. Like just in the short time that you were there, like you have such an impact. Like you know, people dressing up like you, remembering you had these like, details. I think that's just so genius. Agreed, yeah. And it does feel universal, just the casting. So you get these characters, you know, from wherever. And, and yeah, that's just how imaginative and creative the show is. Yeah. Really good. Very well said. We have a question over here on the left. Hey there. What was the most stressful scene to film in all of Stranger Things? <laughs> most stressful scene. I think when I'm running away from Vecna, that was stressful to, to shoot. What about the crying? Well, that's the I'm crying, crying while I'm running. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I'm crying, I'm screaming, I'm running. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. right, the continuity of all of that, right? Keeping that up, all that energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. because when Jamie plays Vecna, he walks so slowly. So keeping the continuity of like being scared while he's like, Trailing. Labor, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard. He's yeah, idling. <laughs> um, so I didn't, I never really learned how to swim. So. Wait, Kara, no. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I grew up going under fire hydrants in my neighborhood, and the oh. neighborhood pool had broken glass at the bottom oh. in the Bronx. So um, when they said you had to swim and do the backstroke, I had to get lessons. Oh I'm kidding for a long time and my daughter who's like an ex because when she was born I was like throw in the pool she's going to be a fabulous swimmer um, she would like be watching me going you can do it mama 
But then I had to look good. You know, I had to look like, you know, good at it. So that was very stressful. But, you know, I was very happy when that was done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, look at Billy's watching. You better yeah, look. Yeah, I'm being watched. So. Hello. For me, it was the uh, first shots that we did really outside of Murray's house um, because it was the first, you know, scene and kind of I knew what Stranger Things was. So it was dealing really with the nerves of just trying to play up to the show. Yeah. Great answers, guys. Thank you. We've got a question from this lovely lady on the right. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Scotland. Hope you're having a nice time. Um, Thank you. My question is, what was your favourite location that you filmed at? Favourite location? Favourite location that you filmed at? Well, you, you love that, that quickie mart. <laughs> I did, the quickie mart, yeah. <laughs> Not Russia, amazing. the quickie mart. <laughs> no, the quickie mart. It's brilliant, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's serious, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the carnival, because they built a real, a full-life, yeah. full-size carnival... And the, the rides were available. You could go on the rides. They were, you could just, you know, when you weren't filming, if the, they weren't filming, you could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, nice. we went on rides and played games. It was amazing. It was cold, but it was amazing. It was very cold, wasn't it? Very it was cold. in September or something. It got really you to, cold. You had to perform as though you're in summer and kind of your breath, you know, the, the um, yeah. Yeah. The heat from the breath. Yeah. Your favorite location? There weren't many. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. There's a question over here on the left from a Stranger Things fan. We're up in the, the gear there. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Maya. I'm just wondering, um, if um, Chrissy and Eddie were still alive, would there be any like romance between them? Or What do you think? Um, well, I'm guessing so, because it was very romantic, I guess. In was it? Well, I, I think to me, I guess, yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. We'd like to think that they would be together. I mean, perhaps. they are now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Ouch. <laughs> We've got uh, a question over here on the right um, from a Hawkins student. Yeah. <laughs> um, so who was your favorite villain, like, from all the different seasons? Like, the Mind Flayer and, like, Demogorgons and stuff. I think I like Vecna. He's the first one that talks, right? So that yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I say Vecna as also. You get more backstory, you know, yeah. more of a character. Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Another question here. Wow, look at this! I can't believe all the amazing Stranger Things merch. It's so cool. <laughs> question from uh, this gentleman here on the left. Out of all the um, scenes in Stranger Things, which one? Um, is the most saddest death in it? Saddest death. That's hard. That's hard. You gotta pick season by season. I don't know, Kara. Which one's the saddest death? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know anything about Billy. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's hard. I think you're right. Season by season. Because I yeah. even think of the. Remember the nice coffee shop worker who takes in Eleven? Yeah. He's now yeah. on This Is Us. It was so sad. That yeah. poor guy, he was so nice. Like, this was season one. He gets, he gives her French fries, right? Yeah. And she dies. And he gets killed by the people and... What? Eddie. Oh, Eddie, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, duh. Duh. <laughs> yeah, no. We just didn't get there. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, I was really sad when both Eddie and... Chrissy died because you really wanted them. You want to see the relationship. I really was like, what would that have been like? Yeah. You know, at the prom or whatever. Aww. It's very sweet. Wow, I hope this is a happy question next. I feel so sad now. Question on the right from this lovely gentleman. Hi there. Um, what was your favorite season and why? Favorite season and why? For me, the first season. Oh, really? really, yeah. I just felt it was more complete. You know, it's, it was... It was it, was it sets it up. The kids were young, adorable. I really like the third one because I think, I think Daker is so talented. I can't decide. I think when I, when I go, oh, I like all of, I run them by in my mind and I just like, all, I can't decide. 
Well, you saw all of the kids literally grow up right in front of your eyes, right? And you being a mom, is that something that is sweet to see how they've all kind of evolved? Because, I mean, gosh, even their voices changed. They look more like men. It's just crazy. More yeah. Women. Yeah, of course. Like, we were all so... I mean, my, I always say, I talk about my daughter a lot, but she was two when I started the job, so she was, like, running around. So I watch her grow up next to them, and, and then I see them all becoming young adults. And, um, yeah, it's, like, beautiful. It's, like, bittersweet, though, because, you know, you want... As a mom, you, you, you're nostalgic for when your kids are little. It's hard to watch them grow. You want them to grow, but it's like, you know, you don't want to say, oh, I remember when you do this. I mean, don't you all kids, kids hate when adults say that, right? It's like so annoying, but we, we say, wait till you're a parent. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait. We have a question over here on the left. Um, at the beginning when you were referencing the Mrs. Wheeler, that was myself back in December. Say again, sorry? That was myself back in December on the front row. Oh, that was that was her That's back right. in December. Yes. She was Nancy's yes. mom in the bikini. Give her a round of applause. Yes. She was in the it bathing suit. It was so much suit. fun. Yeah. Yes, she was Joyce and Nan- and Mrs. Wheeler. Yes. Yes. I wanted to come in with a bit of a fun question. If you could be any type of food, what food would you be and why? Oh. As a character or just the person? Just as you. Just, just me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> it says Kate Blanchett on it, for all of you who can't see it. Um. I, that's as long as I could stall, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a potato. Wow, oh, no way. No way. You do a lot with a potato. That's I love a potato. Very versatile. Yeah. Mash them. What is it? Put them in a stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. There's a whole thing about that. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? It's Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it's when Sam's making Frodo potato stuff. Oh, yeah. Lord of the Rings reference. That's a good one. Well, I'll mash him, put him in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. Uh, sushi, because I like it. Yeah. You would be. And you're layered. I totally get where you're going with that one. Yeah. Probably a persimmon. A, a persimmon? Yeah, the, like those little, it's, it's, like little it's kind of, yeah, it's a fruit. How do you say that? Persimmon? persimmon? Yeah, oh, yeah, we say persimmon. Yeah. Persimmon. No, 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 oh. I think there's like a, you know, it's like the uh, different, like a ma- oh. t- tomato, tomato. I yeah. could be saying it wrong. I no, 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 uh, I just. Yeah, no, no. Persimmon? <laughs> persimmon, no, I don't know. Maybe that's the right way. I don't no, know which is the way. Yeah. Is it persimmon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so yeah, interesting. Yeah, I mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> It's unique. It's a very, r- it's kind of a rare fruit. It is. A rare, well, fancy fruit. Now we've gotten thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like it's weird. really good. <laughs> More on that later. We're going to go to the question over here on the right. What did you guys think about the Chrissy Wake Up song? Oh, oh, sorry, it's brilliant. I'm sorry if you guys are tired of it. I'm not. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Another question here on the left. Uh, yeah, my question is for Grace and Alec. Um, you guys were both only in a couple of episodes, but you became really beloved characters. So what was that like to have, to not really be in like a large part of the show, but become so beloved? Well, it was, yeah, it was, it was um, unexpected. That's for sure, you know, because I knew there was going to be some sort of emotional reaction to Alexei's death. But certainly, you know, it blew me over how, you know, obviously Instagram and social media has reacted. So, yeah, unexpected, I would say, definitely. Yeah, completely unexpected. I thought there would be zero reaction to Chrissy's death or like, yay, now we can get back to our main characters yeah, yeah, yeah. and like have this girl out of the way. So the, the opposite being the reaction has been just surreal. Great question. Thank you. Thank you. We have a character over here who's come all the way from South Park to ask a question on the right. <laughs> Friendly faces everywhere. Oh, <laughs> both to that temptation. Okay. My name's Eric Cartman. My question is, what was your biggest blooper on set? That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Eric is asking what your biggest blooper on set is. I don't know. I don't have. I don't have an answer. I'm so sorry, but you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, by the way. Yeah. Never break character. First rule of Comic Con. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't really have. 
have any. I mean, I, thought I was I messed up lines and things like that, but uh, yeah, sorry, nothing funny to share about that. Yeah. <laughs> I messed What's up good? lines as well. It wasn't funny. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Another question here on the left. Um, what do you guys think about um, Eddie coming back to life? I want everybody to come back. Yeah, I would love Eddie yeah. to come back. <laughs> I think one of the main characters should die, personally. That was not the question! <laughs> wow! I, I no because you know you bring characters to the show and then you kill them off. It be, it, it's starting to become a little bit predictable. Do you know what I mean? So whilst I think it worked, don't get me wrong. I thought it was glorious death on the uh, guitar and everything. But yeah, they should mix it up. I would love <laughs> none of the main characters to die. Wow. <laughs> well, it's the They're final dark. season, so. Do you know Did something? You know something? Do you know something? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you know something, Alec. I don't know anything. Alec's showing his dark side. Mm. Another question over here. Lovely lady on the right. Hiya. Um, who was the biggest prankster and what did they do? Biggest prankster? Prankster. Did we have pranksters? I think there are in other, like, oh, I remember when we did more, like, family scenes and the dinner scenes when there were, like, some of the kids in season one. And it was just, like, a lot of giggles and laughing and stuff like that because... When you get all of them in a room, it's hard to stop, you know, it's hard not to like laugh and everything. But I don't know who's like a big prankster on the set. There's a lot of. It's a, it, There's a lot of pranksters. A lot of pranksters. Maybe, yeah. If you don't, maybe it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Next season. <laughs> Another question here on the left. A very familiar looking gentleman, Grace. What do you think? <laughs> you look lovely. Yes. Round of applause for this cosplay. Rock on, brother. Rock on. Hi, my name is Dexter, and I was what, wondering what your favorite episode is on Stranger Things. Favorite episode? I really love season four, episode four, when Max is running from Vecna's little mind lair. I thought that was amazing. What about you? Uh, my one's Dear Billy. Which one? Dear, Dear Billy. Billy. Dear Oh, I think that's that one. Yeah, yeah. I think we have the same favorite episode. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Do you guys have a favorite yeah. episode? No. No? Yeah. All of them? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You look amazing. Another round of applause. Good question, This cosplay Mike. is just so cool. Question here on the right. Um, can you sing the Chrissy Wake Up song? <laughs> I actually don't know it. What? <laughs> I suck at lyrics, guys. I suck at them. <laughs> Do you know it? No. Do you know it? I, I won't sing it, but yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it, I've seen it, I've heard it. It's awesome. Can you, you sing it? Yeah, can you sing it? No. <laughs> no. That was a flat no. Someone can sing it here, right? <laughs> How does it go? Round of applause. Wow. There's an entire wow. singing section over there. That was amazing. <laughs> and Grace, there's, there's a Chrissy with her pom-poms cheering you on all the way right over there as well. Love that. Another question over here on the left. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Unbelievable. No, I gotta pick something else now. No, is it your favorite? Uh, yeah, I love blue. Um, What's your favorite color? Um, red. Gray. That's a good one. I think he said red. Did you say red or gray? Red. 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 I'm old and can't hear, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's also a Comic Con red. exclusive. Gray. <laughs> red. Gray. You look great. Thank you so much. I thought he was going to say green with that outfit. Thank you. We've got a question over here on the right. Um, do you think pineapples belong in pizza? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> do you? Excuse me, what? Do you? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> do you? No. Alec? No. You? Totally. <laughs> what? Sorry. I have the palate of like a seven-year-old. Anyway, good question. We like these hard-hitting questions. There's one here on the left for you. Hi there. My name's Ailey, and 
If you had to kill one character in season five, who would you kill? <laughs> I already said Vecna. Vecna's fine. Yeah. Will? A lot of people said that. Will? Honestly, a lot of people said I don't know why. Will? I think it's the why? Aberdeen wish list. <laughs> thing. Never mind, you guys aren't nice. Yeah. <laughs> Takes it back. <laughs> uh, oh, remember um, we, when uh, Eleven was in California and that girl... Angela. Angela. Yeah. Angela, she was so mean to her uh, yeah, she, well okay <laughs> but you know <laughs> Angela I, she was so mean she was like you're so mean to Eleven in her school Eleven like yeah, hit her yeah. with a roller skate yeah, yeah. You don't you're think saying you want her life to end yeah. wow I know I'm like wow. dang do not mess with Kara's kid <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with my kid she better not have school bullies very sweet. Come, all right maybe she's seen another roller skate in the face or something <laughs> Black to the face. We're going to have time for uh, just two more questions. We're going to go to the left, and then we'll go to the right. So go ahead. When's the season five? When are you going to start acting in season five? I, he yeah. I hear it starts in June. Ooh. Wow. That's deserve a round of applause. Okay, we'll do two more because I see some amazing cosplay. We'll go to this familiar lady here to the right. Um, hi, this is a question for everyone. What did you think of all the Vecna possessions, especially Max? Was it scary when you were watching it? Yeah, first of all, they stole that idea. I swear I have it on Insta story that I had it from literally 2019. And the same thing where I was like floating as a thing. I'm guessing, I don't know. But Max. So, uh, like, I'm sorry, what was the question? Do you want me to say it all over again? Yeah, sorry. Um, this is, uh, what did you think of all the Vecna possessions, especially uh, Max? Uh, they were, uh, all them going up in the air and yeah. all the, the bones breaking. Is <laughs> um, it's not as bad as it sounds. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really gruesome, actually. So gruesome. I was so surprised, even though I knew it was happening when I watched it. I was, I literally... <laughs> Like stopped and I, was like, I, I actually I turned away, like when you were breaking in pieces and I was like shocked at how it was really intense, like a departure I think from the previous seasons. You know they really amped up that the terror aspect of it. Mm -hmm. It was done really well, but I was, you know I, it was it was harsh. It's so harsh. Yeah. I hope Max is okay. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. You know, right? She what was it like lot. for you to watch that? To watch that yeah. back? Well, well, it was the first time I've again. ever died. Yeah. I've never died before, so it was really cool. But I'll, and they told me that it would be super dark, but watching it, I was like, oh, this is hard for me to watch, and it's terrifying, and it's me. Yeah. 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 I'll never watch it again, honestly. I asked if I could keep the body. Because like they recreated my body to keep in the upside down, and it's all like broken and demented, and I wanted to keep it and hang it from my ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> they said no. Oh, that's <laughs> Wait, and you think me wanting to kill Angela is dark? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, okay? I'm allowed to be self-deprecating and weird. <laughs> you and guests come over, just like, oh, check it out. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a good way to keep people away. Good point. Good point. You've thought this through. Yes. We have time for one final Thank question, you. guys. You've been amazing, but we're going to go to the left here. Hi, Ep. Hi, I'm Courtney, and this is a very morbid one to end it, but if you could kill one of the four boys, who would it be? <laughs> Courtney. Not Will. <laughs> this is his mother. I mean... Wait, is it to kill them, to save the world kind of thing, like a sacrifice, or is it just like... I'm done with this person. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain. I, I think we plead the fifth on this one, guys. <laughs> what do you guys think? It seems like there people want someone to die. Mike. They want to kill your son. <laughs> Mike. 
A lot Guys, of mics. didn't we just learn not to go after Kara's children? Yeah, <laughs> we have learned. We have learned nothing. You guys, we are not ending it on that. I'll have a final question for me, but thank you for that. Just, I would love to know what you guys are looking forward to after you leave Aberdeen. What you're working on? What's coming up next? I'll start with you, Kara. Uh, oh, I am. Um, I'm just going home to be a mom. Yeah, and then you know we'll see when season five starts. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look around Edinburgh and then go to the uh, Comic-Con Liverpool. So hopefully you guys will make it there. Yes. I'll also be in Liverpool, but I look forward to going home to my dog. I've been traveling a lot and he's kind of a new animal in my life. <laughs> That's a beautiful way to end the panel. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, as a Stranger Things fan myself, this was a fangirl moment for me. So please give it up for Grace Van Deen, Alec Utgoth, and the beautiful Cara Buono, your cast of Stranger Things. <laughs>